it's uh, quite good but it's much the same as previous years this ward is a 50-50 ward the last time we contested this ward we lost it so it's and you, you're saying about 2008, Gordon Gambier, a councillor of long-standing, great reputation. So what have you learned from what went wrong with his campaign that you're correcting here? We are following the model that we set up many years ago. And also we don't take anything for granted. We are, once again, we're knocking on all of our the doors that are supporters and are not contacted trying to contact people and just have a chat on the doorstep and see whether there's any issues that we can actually resolve today and what their issues are for tomorrow. Because you as a councillor, you know, naturally you're, you're on, on the back bench of the council, but you're also, the, 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 sometimes at cabinet meetings, Tory cabinets, you turn up there, so you're there a lot, a lot of times. Why is that? I'm part of the shadow cabinet and... I'd like to know what's actually going on with the council. It's one of the ways you can find out a little bit more of what's happening within the council, understand how some of their decisions are made. It's, it is part of the process and one day I hope to be actually sitting at the main table and somebody else watching me. This area here of Corringham came up in, in focus regarding the car parking charges about March 2009. Has anybody mentioned that at all? Did that leave a bitter taste in people's mouths at all? When you talk to the shopkeepers, it's of particular relevance. The residents were not happy with what happened there, but I think our stance was quite clear from day one. We were opposed to it, we put forward motions that were opposed to it. It just seems as if the other councillor... What is the difference between yourself and, and say, your Tory, Tory opposition? I think there's... Two things I can look at. One of the pledges that we've made is to put back pride in Thurrock. All of the residents, when you look drive around Thurrock, it's in the newspapers all the time about the state of Thurrock when they drive in. People say they know when they get into Thurrock because all they have to do is look in the hedges. And I think if anybody's recently driven from the Five Bells roundabout up to the Stanford turn off and just look in the bushes on the left hand side, they are disgusting and that's one of the areas we we would like to make a difference or we will make a difference another area is the local forums we always supported the local forums when we were in power we set them up and we set up a whole organization for them the Tory administration year over year has removed the structure and removed the funding and I actually think to what their policies are nationally on there, they want people to take ownership, they want people to take ownership of the schools, where we look at what they've done locally is they've, they've taken the power away from people and I think that's something we need to look at and when we look at schools, it's the number of schools that are missing one or two governors because we do have trouble getting parents involved in schools. Primary schools, it's easier, it's when you go to the secondary school, we have a lot of issues in getting parents involved in those schools. Are you confident on that May the 6th? I would never say I'm confident. I'm not unhappy, but the voters will decide on May the 6th what way it goes. I have made no plans after May the 6th, if I'm not elected, I will do things at home. If I am elected, I'll carry on representing the residents of this town as we have in the past, which I think is another major difference between us and the Conservatives. All you need to do is look on the website. You will find our names and addresses. On our leaflets, you have our phone numbers, our home phone numbers, and our own email accounts, so you can always get hold of us. Whereas Conservatives, you have to go through a switchboard and they will call you back at some time.